In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step the absolute best way to secure your Google accounts using a YubiKey and universal two-factor authentication. Let's do it. Universal two-factor authentication, or U2F for short, should be used wherever possible to secure your accounts because it reduces the possibility of being fished down to practically zero. Now let's be super clear about this up front. If you're using OTP or one-time passcodes with Google Authenticator, Authy, or any one of the numerous OTP applications for securing your accounts, you're already way ahead of the security game. But OTP can still be fished, so it's not the most secure two-factor authentication available. Requiring your users to use UTF to secure your most important accounts means that you have very little to fear from social engineering and phishing attempts. But how do you set up and use U2F? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video in order to make your life easier. To get started, you just need two things, a Google account as well as a UTF security key. Now, I'm gonna be using YubiKey 5 Series security keys for this video because they're super versatile for many different types of devices. However, you can follow these same steps with any U2F capable hardware key. Heck, I can even do U2F with my Flipper Zero here. Same concept, same security. If you want a deeper dive into why you should be using YubiKeys for two-factor authentication, I'll put a link to my video, You Should Be Using YubiKeys, down in the description below. For this video, however, we're gonna assume that you're already familiar with these devices and that you're ready to start locking down your Google account. First, you'll need to open your Google account settings. To get there, you can log into Gmail or any Google service and then click on your thumbnail picture in the upper right-hand corner. From there, choose Manage Your Google Account. You can also browse straight to your Google account settings by going to myaccount.google.com and then logging in from there. Then you're gonna to wanna to click on Security in the left-hand menu and scroll down till you find the Signing Into Google section. Now notice for my support at uinotified.net email account here, two-step verification is currently turned off. So we're gonna click here, and this is gonna give us some information about protecting our account with two-step verification. We're gonna say, get started, and it's gonna have us re-verify our password to log in and make these changes. And by default, it's going to try to have us set up our phone, our mobile phone number that you have on record with your Google account for two-step verification. But SMS two-factor authentication is the least secure. Uh, so we definitely don't wanna do that. We're gonna say show more options and we're gonna choose security key right here. All right, so now this says, do you have your security key? Make sure that it's with you, but not yet connected to your device. Okay, we're gonna say next. And now this is gonna walk us through the U2F setup. So this is gonna say, set up your security key to sign into this account. We're gonna say, okay. And here's continue setup. We're gonna click okay again. And now it wants us to insert our security key into a USB port. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is the YubiKey uh, 5 NFC. We're gonna pop it into the USB port on the back of my keyboard. And now it says, touch your security key. So what it means by that is basically for the five NFCs, you've got this gold plate, this sort of circular gold plate right on the front. You just need to touch that with your finger. Or if you have something like the 5CI, it has gold contacts on the side. And you can either kind of just give it a little squeeze or I really think you only need to touch one or other of the sides. So we're gonna say touch your security key. I'm gonna hit the button and it says security key has been registered. Now we wanna make sure that we give it a nice descriptive name here because I'm setting up three different YubiKeys for use with this Google account. If I lose any one of those keys, I wanna make sure that I deactivate the correct key off of the Google account. So this one is going to be my YubiKey 5NFC camo because I have the camo skin on this one. We're gonna say done. And that's it, now this security key has been registered. Uh, there's another thing that we're gonna wanna do, but let's go ahead and get registered with our other two security keys first. So I'm gonna now click here, we're gonna add another security key, and we're gonna go through the same setup. So I'm gonna say okay, and okay. It says insert the security key into the USB port. We're gonna pop that one in. Touch your security key. And then this one is going to be YubiKey 5NFC Geode because I have the Geode skin 
on this key. Next. And next. And now this is giving us some information about the NFC capabilities of this key. We're going to cover that in just a moment. Okay, so two keys down, one to go. My last key is this YubiKey 5CI. Uh, since this is USB type C and the back of my keyboard only has USB type A, I'm gonna put on this little uh, USB C to A adapter. We're gonna say add security key. We're gonna say okay and okay. Now we're gonna plug it into the computer. Touch the side contacts. And we're gonna call this one YubiKey 5CI clear. Next. 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 No thanks. And we now have all three keys registered for U2F. So let's go back one step because there's another thing that is a really good idea to do and that is to get your backup codes. Keep in mind by the way that you can also turn on all of these other types of two-factor security as well. But if you're adding an authenticator app that's OTP, remember that's fishable, right? That's a little bit less secure. If you're adding uh, you know, voice or text message, that's also fish fishable, that is less secure. So try to keep this as secure as possible, but a good idea is to print out your backup codes, your one-time backup codes, just in case in the odd chance that I lose all three of my YubiKeys, I still have a way to get in. So we're gonna say backup codes, enter our address to verify that it's us, and we're gonna say get backup codes. All right, so now I have this list of 10 backup codes. I'm gonna to wanna to either print them and put that in a safe location or download those codes and put that in a safe location as well. So now we can see my two types of two-factor authentication that I have enabled for this account are the three security keys as well as the 10 single-use backup codes. All right, so how do we use these? Let's go ahead and do that next. So in my support at uinotified.net email account, I'm going to log out. And then we're gonna go ahead and log back in. Enter our password. And here we go, here's the U2F. So this pops up and it says, hey, touch your security key, right? So I have to physically have my security key plugged into this computer in order to uh, log into my account. And there we go, I just touched the contacts, we're logged in, I'm gonna say next, and I'm back into this account. Okay, so I've logged into Google on my computer, but what about logging into Google on my phone? All right, let's do that next. I opened up Gmail, we're gonna add a new account, it's type Google. Gmail wants to use google.com to sign in. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to use our UI notify support email and put in the password and say next. And now it says two-step verification, connect your security key. So we're gonna say next. And since I've got this 5C NFC, all I have to do is hold it right on the back of my phone. And that's it. We are now logged in uh, because of the NFC features of this YubiKey 5 NFC. Again, that's why these are one of the most versatile uh, devices out there. Now, I could also use the 5CI because it does have lightning connector on it as well, uh, but the NFC works uh, a lot more efficiently uh, for getting into these iPhones. So we'll say next, and there we go. We are now logged into my email account on my phone with U2F security enabled. For IT administrators who are managing a Google domain for your users, Requiring two-step verification is a great first step and much more secure than allowing your users to log in with just their passwords only. But if you wanna take it to the next level, make sure you check out Google's Advanced Protection Program, which requires U2F as one of the security measures that they put in place. If you're interested in learning more about YubiKeys and how to use them, make sure you click on one of these videos on the right-hand side that I've handpicked for you to watch next.